welcome back to Charm in the Wild. This month we're going to talk about everything that happened in October since it is now the first week of November. All right, it's getting cold, all right? But we've got some exciting stuff. We actually did a lot of stuff this month at Charm. And we got, obviously, we're going to give you the little TLDR on what businesses are doing with our stuff and what the community is doing with our stuff. First things first, let's just put this out there. Jay-Z and I are going to be at GitHub Universe. If you're going to GitHub Universe, let us know. Join the Discord. Give us a heads up. We are really excited to see everybody and we've got some fun things planned. So stay tuned. We probably are going to keep it a secret until closer to the date, but I'm very excited for that. That's going to be very, very fun. And then earlier this month, we actually released a new version of gum. So if you haven't tried that already, that release has some pretty cool stuff going on. We had a couple of releases happen in October. So we had one that we got a bunch of new contributors with. Thank you so much to those new contributors. We had some changes to basically the gum chews, gum filter, and spin the line. We also had another release where we actually included a gum file subcommand and a table component as well as a pager. So definitely check those releases out. Super exciting stuff. What you might've seen is that we released a basics tutorial. So that one came out. We've also had a commands tutorial, the part two to that, that launched later in the month. And then we also launched a new community YouTube channel, which I'm super excited about. So basically this is a channel that is just for giving our users a platform to share their projects, their videos, etc. So just making sure that we can kind of, you know, just use our platform and help to maybe reach people that might be interested in their projects. So super excited about that. We're also going to be doing more casual uh, live streams and things like that on the community YouTube channel. So give it a follow if you're interested in being more active in the community or seeing what we're doing there. Awesome stuff. Super excited about that. And then next up, we also released a new repo for helping connect developers with new Go project ideas. So it's not specific to our libraries. There are tags for each of our libraries in case the project might be suitable. If someone is basically thinking, hey, I have this project idea, I would love to see it implemented in Bubble Tea, or I think it'd be a good fit, then they can tag it with that label. But of course, totally optional. Um, but I know that this is a highly requested thing that we see on the internet is project inspiration. It's so hard to come up with new project ideas. So we figured it'd be very, very fun to come up with a community driven repo where people can basically get their, get their contributions in and get their projects seen. So you can see our video on that for more information on how you can get involved. It's pretty, pretty straightforward and everyone's welcome. You don't have to necessarily be, a, be a, coding it up or anything like that. You can just contribute ideas, but I have linked that in the description. So you can check that out if you're interested in learning more. Finally, near the end of the month, we also did a release of a VHS. It's incredible. It allows you to programmatically create GIFs. So basically you can automate the GIF creation process. You can also, because it's FFmpeg under the hood, you can convert it to different video formats and things like that as well. If you're wanting non-GIF format, that is supported. So very, very cool. Highly recommend checking that one out. It's incredible. For me, it feels like a game changer as someone who is constantly doing these tutorial videos or coming up with demos or having things that I basically need to have some kind of a graphic to present. Incredible, life-changing. DevRel teams, get after it. Check it out. See if it's a fit for you because she's good. She's good. All right. So that is, that's, that's what's up. That's what happened in October from the Charm team. Next, let's talk about the business. Okay. All right. So we've got a couple of businesses that are using Bubble Tea as a dependency as of October 2022. All right, so we've got Percona, which they basically specialize in database software. So their project called PMM 
is using bubble tea. This project is described to be a single pane of glass to easily view and monitor the performance of your MySQL, MongoDB, PostgreSQL, and MariaDB databases. You can check it out. I've linked it in the description if you're interested in learning more about that. Thank you, Percona, for using Bubble Tea. And then let's talk about, so Anchor, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, they came out with a product called Quill, and it is a simple Mac binary signing and notarization from any platform. So it basically re replaces the code sign utility for simple use cases. So some of the commands that you can expect when using Quill are you can sign uh, an executable binary for Mac, notarize, which is notarize a signed Mac binary with Apple's notary service, sign and notarize, submission list, submission logos, submission status, describe a binary file, extract certificates from a binary file, and more. So check that out if you are interested. It's linked in the description. Thank you as well, Anchor, for using our tools. We appreciate it. Love seeing our library in the wild. And then next up is our community, our incredible community that we are so appreciative for. Thank you, thank you. Circumflex, which is built with Bubble Tea, has gotten a lot of love this month. It allows you to read Hacker News in the terminal. So it is basically a full-featured Bubble Tea-based Hacker News browser for the CLI. So you can even read the original article directly in the terminal with reader mode, which is awesome. Highly recommend checking that out if you are someone who likes to read Hacker News. Got a lot of love for good reason, okay? We also have some very cool and noteworthy gum scripts that came out. So some people on Twitter let us know that they built some stuff with gum. Sim on Twitter stated that so gum by charm cli empowers you to create your personal software here is a small note-taking tui that i could use every day that fits in a in a shell script of 15 lines we will link to that tweet as well in in the description you can go give it a like if you want to give them some love for sharing how they're using gum additionally we also had a user Matsune who created a multi-platform upgrade script. So that is also gonna be linked in the description. And then finally, we have some features from this month. So the Overtired Podcast gave us a very kind shout out in episode 300. So thank you so much to the creators of the Overtired Podcast. We appreciate that. We had an incredible community member write a blog post about us on how to get started with Bubble Tea. So that is also going to be linked in the description. Go check it out if you're new to Bubble Tea and looking for maybe a new perspective. We have our we have some videos on how to get started, but I always think it's really helpful to get a bunch of different opinions or perspectives when you're trying to take on some new software. So check it out. Give them a comment if you have any feedback for them. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. That is Charm in the Wild for October. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for the love. I'm very grateful that you've all been enjoying our YouTube content so much. We are continuing to make more. So stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for that. We've got more tutorial videos coming up. And if there's ever any kind of content or topics that you want to see covered in video format on the Charm channel, just let us know. I'm in the Charm Discord. And if you want to be featured on the Charm community channel, you want to feature one of your projects or have one of your videos posted there, let me know as well. So maybe I'll create a channel for it or something like that. You can also just post in general and say that you're interested in it and I will definitely see the message. So thank you all so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one for November. Bye.